Hello, welcome back to Night City. Oh, you're still here, eh? Let's see. Uh, let's take a picture. Whoa, where are you? Let's take a picture. Oh. -ho. And a pose. And this will be a good one. Depth of field, auto focus on the picture for <laughs> pose look at camera. Oh, off. Okay, take picture. Okay, let's go. Entering a new area called Peggy Plaza. Okay, who's this? Destroy enemies, of course. Mm hmm, coffee and dark chocolates. Still here, eh? A drink. Real water. La pizza la zuli sweet. Okay. Can we take this? No. Hey Jackie, been waiting long. He's angry. <laughs> okay. We're in our room. Pretty snazzy. Too bad we ain't staying the night. Nice choice, Buck. Didn't pick it for snaz. Offers quickest access to the dweller and servers. Si, si, me acuerdo. Cufflinks. Now you fire up the flathead and find the shaft entrance. Sounds simple enough. Simplicity sometimes toughest to master. Aurelius? Aristotle? Who's it this time? Yours truly. That one's mine. Where's the shaft? Boot up your scanner. Look around. Ooh. Scan for an entry point for the flathead. Flathead ready? Hmm. Very nice. Very nice robot. We're just supposed to look for the shaft. Yeah. Wow, this is inside the suit. Very nice. Oh, very nice too, it is. Very nice fish. Okay, television, of course. You know nothing? Come on, can't be that hard. Yeah. Radio. We 
weren't you supposed to look for the shaft? Yeah, of course. Tame Dragon, a biography of Yorinobu Arasaka. Mm. Read message. Tame Dragon, the biography of Yorinobu Arasaka. In many ways, the story of Yorinobu Arasaka resembles an ancient parable the youngest son of one of the modern world's most powerful CEOs renounces his heritage, forfeits his birthright, and instead chooses a rough and tumble life on the street of Tokyo only to later scamper back home to the warm, sheltered bosom of his family with his tail out tucked. At least that is the story most have pieced together from official sources. But why did Yurinobu betray his father in the first place? Why did he return? For several years, I dug deeper following threats, reached out to his former friends and acquaintances. Slowly I began to unearth answers to some of the public's most burning questions. Yurinobu was born in Tokyo in the early 21st century the first child of Saburo Arasaka's third wife, Michiko. By all accounts, he seemed a happy child to, grew be to become a pleasant young man, that is, until his graduation from the University of Tokyo at the age of 21. Following the ceremony, the Arasaka family threw a party in his honor. At some point in the evening, Saburo invited his son to his study for a private conversation. What transpired there is wholly unknown, but after corroborating varied accounts, it is clear Yorinobu must have slipped out of from the party and he and the estate only a few hours later gone, a whisper in the night. Over the next few years, Yorinobu was occasionally spotted in the company of a nomad group known as Kotetsu no Ryu, or the Steel Dragons. Oh, Kotetsu no Ryu. As part of this youthful rebellion, he purposefully involved himself in altercations with Arasaka agents and promoted anti corporate slogans. After his family eventually confirmed Yorinobu's involvement, Saburo renounced his son, and K, Saburo's eldest son, swore to exact revenge on his younger brother. Ironically, it was later at Kei's funeral that Yurinobu at last reconciled with his father. Stubbornly proud to a fault, many were surprised by the Arasaka Patriarch's uh, conciliatory approach. What caused Saburo to change his mind? What role might have Yurinobu's sister Hanako, Hanako play in their peaceable reunion that much yet remains to be discovered. Hanako, Hanako. Oh, very nice bed. Ooh, the design. Hmm. Top notch. Luxurious. Come on, can't be that hard. Wow. Ho ho! It's huge! Okay. Got a winner. Good. Jackie, how's the flathead looking? All set. Systems are operational. Charge it a hundred. Let's see if we can use the toilet for anything. Yeah, the little conk stock. Well, what's this, man? Just gonna stand there and look at it? Gonna have to switch to manual control. V. Take the control shard from Jackie. Gonna link your Kiroshis to surveillance so you can guide the bot. Okay. No time for mirror. Let's control the bot. Kanpeki Plaza. Kanpeki Plaza's luxury beauty discretion. What holds more power than a place? An idea. Kanpeki Plaza is more than a hotel. It is a space in which, in which reality is curated to even the most refined tastes and sensibilities. At Kanpeki Plaza, you will find 420 exclusive apartments, 20 conference rooms, 
fourteen fully equipped pools and the finest bars, restaurants, and that which cannot be measured by numbers alone, luxury, beauty, and discretion. A world-class customer care will fulfill even the deepest needs and desires of our guests, turning your stay in Compaqué Plaza into an unforgettable experience. When it comes to the comfort of our clients, there is no such thing as the impossible. Discover new dimensions of combat comfort. Enjoy the best Night City has to offer. It's just a chip, not a live grenade. Oh, you are very angry. Surveillance cover the whole hotel. Surveillance cover the whole hotel. Mm hmm. Even the bedrooms and the suites. Guests don't care. You'd be surprised what people are willing to give up to feel secure. Lucky for us, Yuranobu is an exception. Penthouse is dark, no hotel security. Why is it gonna be me? Why me? Why do I gotta slot it in? Unlike someone, I haven't run up my tab with Vic. Got last gen firmware. No flow. Just do it, bro there. Ain't got all day. <laughs> Tech chip. Here goes nothing. Here. Here goes. Patching you through to in-cam view. Might get a little disoriented, but don't freak. Oh my god. Okay, got a clear view. You can't just go locking people out of their homes. Get them to the next vent. Places of work. Arasaka will cover the cost of any and all penalties assessed. This isn't about the money. It's election season. How do you think this will make me look? People will start saying I've lost control of Watson. District I'm from. A week. That's all we can promise you. We will try. And that is all I can promise you. Scan for a way into the vent. Okay. Okay, we see this is flat flathead. Enter the shafts. Okay. Running command. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Those guys are just standing there doing nothing. Ho ho. Okay, flathead's in. Patching you into next cam now. Ho ho. What makes you think it was for you? He addressed it to the kind housekeeper who finds him. Note inside said, sorry for the mess. There was blood everywhere, but at least he left a tip. Am I the only one that just gets puke and use condoms? Where's the damn justice in it? It's us, Rocks. After making waves in Tokyo, Sydney, and Paris, their next stop is on your doorstep. Stinky city going. Who? You know, good-looking, filthy rich. Has that naughty look in his eye? He's staying in the penthouse. Ooh. Mean you're a noble Arasaka. Men like him are always single. Might wear expensive suits, but he's a biker at heart, always itching for a ride. <laughs> I'd give him a ride and wipe him out. Oh my Honey, god. Stick to wiping that glass, huh? You're leaving streaks everywhere. Scan away to into the vet. Oh, a uh, bug? Got a hitch. What now? Housekeeping's in my way. Okay, got a distractor. Uh, let's see what's on the subnet. All right, on it. Scan for hackable devices. What's that? Terranium stem control. Smart room panel. What's that? Terrarium panel. Terrarium's got a control panel. Somehow I doubt it. Terrarium's temp control. Terrarium's got a temp and air quality controller. Cream, yeah. Sick the flathead on it. Lower temperature. Something's up with the tank. 
Hey, Bug, it worked. <laughs> Ain't seen nothing yet. You got any idea how much those things cost? Keep moving. No time for backpatting. Enter shop. Scan for a way into the vents. Okay, this one will do. Enter shop. Okay. Dwellers just beyond the door. Flathead can jimmy the lock. Okay. Looks like he's having trouble. Shit. Gotta be another way. Let me think. Got another cam other side of the door, but it's disabled. Want me to enable? Yeah, look around for a CCTV port. This one? Got the port. Okay, have the flathead jack in. Okay, he's Switching at it. Switching camera. Now toggle over to the other cam. Well, he's inside. Just as planned. Still weird, the hotel's only got one runner. Decent dwellers as good as a dozen rank and file. Let me neutralize you. <laughs> what now? Neutralize, really? Flathead ought to be able to neutralize. Good thinking. Let me graft a demonoid onto your link. And you know you gotta jack the flathead directly into his chair, right? Make it sound like I'm new at this. Okay, sent. He's all yours. You'll have to get the flathead in there first, though. Net runner chair. Wow, one hundred and twenty-eight teraflops. Scan for a path for the flathead. Okay, this one Checked might do. Check may link both rooms. Looks like. Let's figure it out. Now toggle over to the other cam. Okay. I found our way in. Send the flathead over there, then toggle over to the second camp. Nice. Flathead into the chair, B. Jack in. Okay, send the flathead. Flathead stays, right? To keep an eye on the dweller, yeah. Punching into Compeki's main net. You go ahead and log out. All right. Así es como se hace. How you feeling? Fine. A little dizzy, that's all. Bug, how you doing on time? You there, Bug? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. So, listen, ice is thicker than I thought. Piercing it'll take a couple hours. Couple hours? Can't do it any faster. Want my brain to burst into flames? Just sit down and enjoy your snazzy sweet. Thanks. I will. V, uh, you take it easy, okay? Rest up a bit. All right. Sit.
Hmm. Ah, uh, nothing in here. Okay, let's just sit. A few hours later... What do you think? Why'd he give it all up? Hmm? Who gave what up? Yorinobu Arasaka. The good life, I mean. Old news, I know. Just got to thinking's all. It's like... Think. Got everything, right? Eddie's education. Your pops can snap his fingers and turn half the fucking planet into a nuclear wasteland. But instead, you're like, nah, fuck it. And what do you go do? Start a fucking gang. <laughs> Steal dragons or some shit. You go from your fam, chip some real skin, and play gang leader for a few years. For what? Okay. Why should I care? <laughs> Ah, fuck him. Why do I need to care about some bougie prick and his street kid fantasies? <laughs> Must have been a who, huh? I'm Yorinobu Arasaka. Would you folks like to join my gang? Shh. Poser with court protection. <laughs> and the name, too. Steel fucking dragons? Oh, man. A wannabe gang goon's wet dream. Got bored of being rich and then got bored of playing tough. <laughs> fucking tourist. Tourist or not, he just walked into the lobby. Oh. And we are back in biz. All right. And now security is neutralized. Perfecto. Let's start the show. All right. Hey, Bug. Where are uh, Were you on comms that whole time? Three and a half hours. Uh, about that stick up the ass. Mean the one up mine? Uh, slip of the tongue, you know. I know. Now's your chance to make up to me. Ooh. Nice one. Head to your renewables penthouse. Do I have to press the button? Tavernier Street. Uh, there's the awkward silence. You uh, wanna hear a joke? All right. No. Seriously? Okay. So why'd the rocker boy's output kick him out of the apartment? Cause he wasn't chipping in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Huh. Not bad being heir to the Arasaka. Sure is shit better than being a son of Raul Wells. Guys, focus. The safe. And All make right. it quick. Alright. What's the rush? Sig on your Nobu's gone dark. What is he, a fucking sorcerer? Some kind of dead. Oh, can go gun, nice. 148. Looks like a Ryoru Noble left us a parting gift. Upgrading iconic items. You have just received an iconic item along with a set of crafting specs. You can use this to craft better quality version of this item. When a new version of an iconic item is crafted, the original item is destroyed. Ooh. Iconic items can also be upgraded just like regular weapons or pieces of clothing. Upgrading improves their levels and stats, ensuring they remain useful as you progress through the game. Looks like Yorinobu left us a parting gift. Ain't much, but it'll have to do. What's this? Switch, eh? Hmm, the relic, why all the fuss? The relic, why all the fuss? For years, experts in the field of cybernetics 
neurology and psychology have been dis- desperately trying to merge human consciousness with silicon. Until now, their efforts has been unsuccessful. Though scientists have managed to create an artificial intelligence that can compare or indeed surpass human t- intelli- intellect, copying the human eye has remained beyond our capabilities. Attempts to do so have merely resulted in sophisticated chatbots, digital beings capable of mimicking human speech and mannerisms, but devoid of self-awareness. Today, experts from Arasaka announced Breakthrough, their newest project. The, the relic allows human minds to be copied onto shards no longer, no larger than a creature. What's more, the shot can be slotted into one's neural port, allowing its user to hear and see digitalized personality constructs. Sadly, I haven't been able to personally examine the specifications of this remarkable, remarkable piece of technology. Access to the relic is heavily restricted by Arasaka, and only a small, select group of testers are allowed to participate in the program. Unsurprisingly, these testers are amongst the wealthiest and most influ- influential people in the world, precisely the kinds of people Arasaka would like to have in its pocket. For the ordinary consumers reading this, don't expect the relic to hit the mass market anytime soon. Okay. Hurry up, v. Oh, it's raining. Hurry up, V. Oh, come on. Anything else here? Got no time for this. Really? We have plenty of time. I assure you. Oh. There, under the floor. Look around for a switch. Nice. New shard. The Flowers of Silence, a biography of Hanoko Arasaka. If I had written this biography on the basis of publicly available, available material, there would be two sides of this story, not to mention the foreword, afterword, and the acknowledgments. Everyone knows that Hanako Arasaka is a very private individual. Everyone has heard about the tragic death of the last reporter who attempted to pen her love story. Ten shots to the back, suicide, according to the police. That's why when my publisher asked me to write this book, I had to politely decline. Then I saw the advance they were offering me. I started to reconsider, and finally, when I discovered that Arasaka's PR department had given its stamp of approval to interview numerous new members of Hanako's entourage, I was on the next flight to Tokyo. Soon enough, however, I lost my original enthusiasm. The people Arasaka sent to sent me to be interviewed re- repeated the same answers to all questions, clearly memorized by heart. After a month's worth of research, all I had was Hanako Arasaka is the daughter of Saburo Arasaka from his third wife Michiko. She was born in 1999 in Tokyo and has only left the city five times in her life. Living a cloistered lifestyle, she never fulfilled any important role in the family business. She is very close to Yorinobu Arasaka, the black sheep in the family. I was ready to give up when, in the archives of the local TV station, I found a recording of the opening of an Arasaka branch in Fukuoka, graced by the presence of none other than Hanako herself. She played the piano, Debussy's Reverie, while at peace, while play a dreamy, introspective song while surrounded by historic Japanese businessmen. Her golden fingers caressed the keys I was memorized, mesmerized. Tears rolled down my cheeks as I listened. That's when I knew I had to finish this book. I had to meet this enigmatic woman and find out who Hanako Arasaka really was. Okay. 
smart glass. Okay. Hurry up, v. Yeah, I'm very slow. Iguana. Whoa. Ho oh, ho, very realistic. She got that weird ass lizard. That ain't no lizard. It's an iguana, you twit. <laughs> no, because I see one before. Whoa. Very cool, man. Giant lizard, iguana. What's the difference, you know? Okay, we have something here. Oh, you're in Robo Slacks. You're in Robo Formosus. Yeah, we have plenty of time. I assure you. Oh, what's this? Glass double doors. Can I go out and know? Okay. Got no time for this. Cashmere group. We have plenty of time. Jacker, chill. We have plenty of time. Got no time for this. Let's see this one more time. Woo, iguana. Ha ha ha. Got no time for this. We have plenty of time. Hair wax. Okay. Next dog open. Oh, hurry up, V. Okay, this was the toilet. We have something here. Ooh, Kotetsu no Ryu Kot. Nice. Cashmere Wu. Yeah, we have plenty of time. Let me flip that switch. Wait, wait, wait. Um, what do we have here? Oh, we can go out. Oh, come on. Double doors, really? Okay, okay. Let's flip that switch. Bingo! Got something ejected. Come here, V. Yeah. What now? what now? Jack in your personal and make us rich. On it. Really? Your turn, bug. Give me two. Uploading. They got wing visitors. Bug. Oh my god. Don't know who, but staff's a buzz. All 200 on their feet can't keep still. Can't say I like this. How much longer, T? Shit, you're a Nobu's penthouse bound. Fuck him! Open the safe! Almost got it. Done. Cream. Let me look to this, huh? Relic intact? Bioshard integrity, 100%. Guessing that's a yes. Fellow Jack. Good, let's go. Fuck, too late. Your noble's about to walk in, find cover. Where? That pillar, try that. You fucking kidding? No, inside it now. Inside where? Whoa. We're in. But you don't solve our problem, T. I fucking know our problem's still there. Let me think for a sec, okay? Alright. I thought Adam Smasher. Bodyguard. Wars. Night City Legend. Bleak motherfucking one too. What's the play? We wait. Are they here yet? They approach from the landing pad? What are they talking about? Bug, who got incoming? Nuh-uh. No fucking way. This isn't happening. 
Saburo Arasaka. Oh my god. The Emperor. Yet another ass looking legend. Shush. Doubt this could be soundproof. Ooh. Alright. Leave, okay? Leave, shark. Close. Too close. If he'd have sniffed us out. But he did it. No guy at the Unfucking believable. Saburo Arasaka. Hmm, looks like a samurai, man. が。傷がないとでも思ったのか。そもそも俺のことを気にしたことなんかないだろう。あんたの問題点はそこだ。世界は自分中心に回ってると思ってる。傲慢だよ。よりのぶ。どうしてここへ。じきじきに俺に屈
お許しください荒坂様決して失望はさせませんわお、he's not sad at all no drama just leave the old man here oh my god what the fuck just happened in there this is sad you're a noble just offed Suburo <laughs> off what? like a switch You know what this means? Security's gonna swarm the place any second. Okay. Oh my god, we're so fucked. Where's Yorinobu? Where's Yorinobu? I don't... I don't know. I've lost cam links. Whole building's being put on lockdown. Okay, got something. Window, now! Oh, what happened? Window? Now, Jackie. Get to the ladder. Check Come on. The bend. Whoa, helipad. Oh, what's that? Glitch. Check around the bend. Oh, surely there's a ladder. Jackie. Look down. Oh. Yep. That's fucking high. Oh. Shit. That trauma? If they're here for Saburo, they're a little late. Just hope they didn't see us. Oh. -ho. Jack, you're bleeding. Jackie, you're bleeding. Worry about me later. Get the relic. Container depressurized. Bio chip integrity at 94%. Fucking drop it. Carajo. Oh my god. Parker! Call her! And tell her we fried the case? Just do it. Call Parker. Oh. Eat Becky's all over the feeds. What the fuck's going on there? Got a problem. Crown case is damaged. Biochip's integrity at... Jackie? 86%? 86% and dropping. Shit. Okay, listen to me. There's only one thing you can do. One of you's gotta slot the relic into your neural port. Is that even that safe? doesn't sound safe. The longer you wait, the greater the risk will lose it. Someone's got to do it. In the name of the Father, the Son, and in the Spirit of the Amen. Oh my God. Jackie, you okay? No, no. I guess. Once you're back, we'll take out the relic and run a full brain scan and sweep. But you two need to get the fuck out of there first. We're working on it! What? Hell, we'll be there in a couple. Be ready. Got it? Certainly, Mr. Wells. Better be fucking certain. We gotta somehow reach the lobby. Only chance to hit the garage. And we best be quick. Oh, I see. Great. Now let's get.
get out of here. Hmm. Oxy booster. Okay, we have something here. In the shade of an apple tree by Virginia Grandchester. In the shade of an apple tree by Virginia Grandchester. My first memory isn't an image or a sound, but a smell. The smell of rotting apples, intense and dizzyingly sweet. I must have been around four. We were spending the summer at my grandparents' house. They had a small orchard with this old huge apple tree by the fence. That year it grew so many apples that nobody even bothered to pick them. You just watched them fall to the ground where they lay rotting. It is hard to imagine now a world where things used to grow out of the ground without our help, without the bioengineering, where an apple was something normal, a fruit whose shape and taste every child knew by instinct. Where a normal person, my like, like my granddad, could have more than he needed. Sometimes I think back to that orchard and that sweet, drowsy smell. But all I taste is bitterness. Why? You okay? You okay, Jackie? Ooh, blood. Hmm. Got one bullet, you know. Okay. Attention. Reach the air limit. And you. Uh, I ain't got time for your lip girl. Oh, they send it to special forces. Take a look quiet. In the lobby now. We're gonna sweep the building, all floors. Kashmir Wood. Moonshot. Hell's going on there. Doesn't sound good. Beer. Whoa. Real water. And Papa Gachi. Oh, very nice. Attention. Code Red has been initiated throughout Kenpeki Plaza. Please remain in your rooms and follow all instructions given by staff. Okay, thanks for watching. We will continue next time.